What's going on, guys? Uh, Legend Wrestling 99 back again for first time in over a month. Uh, just the reason I haven't been making videos because the cable, like the cable that I use, the USB cable that I use to plug into my camera to my computer, lost that somewhere. I don't even know where it went. So I got to get a new one, obviously, you know, so I can keep making videos. But fortunate enough, I'm able to make a video on my webcam for once because it's actually not acting up. So uh, I'm going to use this, make the Royal Rumble predictions, and pretty soon I will be back with just regular updates on merch and what whatnot and stuff. It's just back to making normal videos. So for now, Royal Rumble predictions, of course, going to be live tomorrow night on pay-per-view. I'm really excited for this show. I'm always excited. You know, Royal Rumble is always a great show. Always very fun to watch. So, um, kicking it off, uh, on the kickoff, you have the WWE Tag Team Championship match. Cody Rhodes and Goldust, uh, the Rhodes family versus the New Age Outlaws, uh, Billy Gunn and Road Dogg. I'm really excited for this match. I'm kind of upset it's on the kickoff, but you know what? Uh, I think it, this, it will still be good either way. Yeah, but, um, yeah, so whatever. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and say Rhodes family wins. I don't really see New Age Outlaws winning the tag titles. If they do, not right now. I would, wouldn't would mind them winning the titles at all. I think it'd be really cool, really fresh. Not fresh, but fun to see, just, just to say that. But I'm going to go ahead and say uh, Cody Rhodes and Goldust retain the WWE tag team titles here. Uh, moving on to the main show, I'll start off with Daniel Bryan versus Bray Wyatt. Uh, I'm going to say da Daniel Bryan wins because... That's kind of what this whole feud is, you know, Dan O'Brien getting his revenge on Bray Wyatt. You know, he finally got him inside the cage one-on-one -on -one with, you know, getting Bray Wyatt by himself for once. Finally in the cage a couple weeks ago on Raw, and now he's going to get him in the singles match. If I, were, if I was WWE, I would have made this a cage match. It would have made sense, but I guess, you know, with the Chamber next month, you had to keep the, I don't know, maybe just... Oh, well, now that I'm thinking about it, they did have a, a cage match at the Rumble a couple years ago, so... Whatever, but I'm going to go ahead and say uh, Daniel Bryan wins against Bray Wyatt. It just makes the most sense to me, you know, finally getting his revenge on Bray Wyatt for all the attacks and whatnot, and finally getting him one-on-one -on -one in a singles match for the first time ever, I think. Uh, he might have had him on Raw once, but, you know, the match didn't really go through because of Luke Harper and Eric Rowan. I don't think if they do get involved, they'll probably end up getting thrown out or uh, banned from ringside, you know, some point during the match. So Daniel Bryan, I think, will win. As if he goes into the Rumble later on in the night, I wouldn't be surprised. I think he should, but, you know, whatever. It doesn't really matter if he does or not. Uh, next up, we got Brock Lesnar versus The Big Show. Another match I'm looking forward to solely for the reason I just like seeing Brock Lesnar, you know, because he only wrestles a couple times a year. Um, I just like, you know, I, I enjoy his appearances. You know, that makes sense. Uh, I'm going to say Brock Lesnar defeats The Big Show. I think Brock Lesnar's pretty much, I, pretty, I think it's pretty much set in stone. Uh, in a lot of people's eyes, that he'll probably be facing The Undertaker at WrestleMania 30 in a couple of months. So it makes the most sense for him to beat The Big Show here. Big Show, if he beats Brock Lesnar, that's just really dumb. That means Brock Lesnar only won twice in the past few years. You know, he's lost to Cena, he's lost to Triple H twice, or once, or he's won three times. He's lost twice, and then he's won three times. So I think that's something like that. But uh, he definitely, Big Show definitely shouldn't beat him here. Brock Lesnar should go over against The Big Show. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and say Brock Lesnar wins. Makes the most sense in my opinion, so Brock Lesnar would win. Next, uh, John Cena versus Randy Orton for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if John Cena won, honestly, but there's I think there's a 90% chance Randy Orton's going to win this 10% Cena. So I'm going to go ahead and say Randy Orton retains. I, th I see Randy Orton going into WrestleMania as the WWE World Heavyweight Champion against uh, one of the guys I'm going to say wins the Rumble next. But um, I, I don't... I could see Cena winning it, but I just don't see it in the long run. I'm going to see, see Randy Orton retaining and going into Mania as champion. So, yeah, Randy Orton, I think, will beat John Cena. I think it should be a good match. You know, I know people aren't a fan of this match because, you know, they did it so many times a few years ago. But now that they're finally doing it again, I think the TLC match. I didn't see the TLC match, but um, I heard it heard it was pretty good. So I'm looking kind of looking forward to this match, you know, to see what, see what happens. I think it will be good. Randy Orton, I think, will win and uh, move on. To the Elimination Chamber, through the Elimination Chamber, and on to WrestleMania as WWE World, WWE World Heavyweight Champion. And then, of course, the main event, the 30-man over-the-top Royal Rumble match. I'm really looking forward to this, as always. 30 guys in the ring, who's going to WrestleMania? I think there's only two guys that can possibly win the Rumble. I'll throw a wild card pick in there, just for the heck of it. But I'm going to say, between three guys or two guys, it's CM Punk at number two and Batista at number one. One of those guys, in my opinion, is definitely going to WrestleMania. I don't, no one else is, really has a chance. If I had to just pick a wild card pick, I mean, or say a wild card pick, Daniel Bryan, if he is even in the Rumble, but somebody who would be already announced for the Rumble, 
Roman Reigns as it would be a good wild card pick, but it's definitely going to be CM Punk versus, uh, or CM Punk or Batista going up against Randy Orton at WrestleMania. More likely Batista, probably 70%, 70% chance Batista wins the Rumble, 30 or 20, 30, yeah, <laughs> uh, CM Punk wins the Rumble. But I'm going to go ahead and say one of those guys wins, so to run down my picks again, Cody Rhodes and Goldust to defeat the New Age Outlaws for the WWE Tag Team Championships on the kickoff. Uh, Danny Bryan defeats Bray Wyatt, Brock Lesnar defeats The Big Show, Randy Orton defeats John Cena for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship, and Batista or CM Punk will win the Royal Rumble, and Roman Reigns, an odd, uh, uh, oddball wild card pick to say. So there's my Royal Rumble predictions, guys. I uh, really hope I can get back on YouTube soon. I just need to get a new USB cable in there. I'm good. So um, once I get that, I'll be back to making full-time videos again and making updates because I've got a lot of merch. You know, I've been to a couple wrestling shows over the past month since my last video, so, yeah, so, uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video, Royal Rumble tomorrow, I'm very excited, don't know if I'll be able to make a review or not, I hope I can, we'll see, but, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this, guy. guys, uh, peace out.